Ladies and gentlemen, you know who's back. It's your boy, Moonshot Max, bringing you all this drip content that you love. And on today's episode, guys, I have a big feeling about this one. And you already know, last week was very exciting with the drip AMA. Finally, we got something that is tangible right in front of our eyes. And of course, you know what I'm talking about, that drip, drop, draw, white paper. And we're going to break things down, guys. You're going to hit that like. You're going to smash that subscribe. And we're going to get busy and get straight into this video. All right, so you already know on this channel, we like to have fun. So this week, we are going to play Guess That Phrase. Guess the phrase. And the category is safety. If you could guess the phrase, guys, you are going to win some drip or some lit. So don't forget to turn on that notification bell. Whenever I drop a video, I'm going to reveal some new letters to this exciting phrase. And if you let me know down below in the comments, the majority of people who pick the same letter, I'm going to reveal that letter, which means it's going to be super interactive and super exciting. Let's see what happens this week on Guess That Phrase. So you already know who's not a financial advisor, that is me. And you already know who gotta do their own due diligence and that is you at the time of this video, guys. Take a look at the price. We're hanging around that 52 cents price mark, which is very, very good. I know it feels good, especially the ones that bought drip at 23, 24 cents and they see the price of drip heading to the 50s, 60s and 70s. So guys, oh my lord, you know, we already got a problem, right? The minting is a problem and people just holding on to crazy amounts of drips in their wallet. If you go to Dune Analytics, we got 4.5 million in wallets. Oh my lord, why are people holding on to so much drip in their wallets? If we take a look at the activity at the time of this video, we could see that a lot of people have been buying and depositing a lot of drip, especially in the past few days. And a lot of people are hydrating, of course, more than claiming, which is very, very bullish. And if we take a look at the total drip in tax vault right now, 79,947, but the total amount of drip is 9 million which you know is a 9x from where it originally started you see this 9 million is just a whole lot it's just too much drip right now being minted by the contract so we all know we have a problem and it took a lot of community members to put their minds together it took a lot of you know forex shark to implement that nice secret sauce into it and we got this thing called drip drop draw and you already know everybody right now just can't wait for this drip drop draw no chill no patience i can't wait for drip drop draw so thrilled so anxious it's crazy how that drip drop draws this feels so amazing we can't wait for drip drop draw it's real, I'm banging a certified drip, drop star. Hey yo, but Ray, what, what, what about drip? It's kind of hard to relax on the brink of being rich. So you already know, shout outs to Slice. He's making some pretty good drip songs right now. And this guy's on fire. Every song is just super bullish. But anyway, let's get straight to the white paper because this is where it's at. This is where... The information that is needed need to get extracted in order for us to really understand how bullish this is. If you never heard of drip drop draw guys, you got to take a look at the white paper on your own and take some time and really research every aspect of it. But what is drip drop draw? Well, drip drop draw is basically a community funded project brought to you by Forex Shark and a few members of the Reap DAO. And you already know this is a layer two for the drip faucet, which is going to be freaking bullish. All right, so let's go to the basics. Each day there will be six rounds. Basically, each round is four hours, and there's gonna be seven prize winners each round. Now, the first prize, they're gonna have a four runner up prize, a biggest depositor prize, and a biggest sacrifice prize. If we break down the numbers, we can see right here that 5% is gonna be paid out to a random person for the first prize paid out, 1% for the other four um, runner-ups, 2.5% for the biggest depositor, and 2.5% for the biggest sacrificer. And don't forget that 10% of that jackpot is gonna be rolled over for the next day. 
So let's take a look at scenario one because scenario one in my eyes is very conservative, which I like because it's still super bullish to see the conservative side and how much drip will be entered into the tax vault. So let's say drip is 50 cents. There's 150,000 active wallets. 10% of those wallets is about 15,000 wallets and they participate with a bare minimum of just $1 drip every round. So let's take a look. That means 30,000 drip per round. The first prize paid out is gonna be 1,500 drip. All each of the four runner ups is gonna get 300 drip, 750 drip for the biggest depositor. And we could see that the total drip sent to the faucet is 25,500 per round. And if you do the calculations times six, we are putting in 153,500 drip in just one day. But me personally, more than 10%, at least 50% is going to be participating in drip drop draw. So it's going to be super bullish than this. So let me head to the more important side that I wanna focus on in, right? I wanna put this on the spotlight. The forces side tokenomics, I believe this is very important for everyone to understand exactly how to approach drip drop draw once it comes out, if you understand the tokenomics. So number one, $1 BUSD equals one ticket, and you could enter as many times as you like. Very important, if you're buying with drip, amounts will be rounded down. So if you buy, let's say, $1.99 worth of drip, right, and you participate in the drip drop draw, it's gonna be rounded down to give you one ticket. So make sure you hit that $2 mark to get two tickets. Also, purchasing with less than one BUSD will result in a failed transaction. So if you wanna come in with 25 cents, that's not gonna work, buddy. If you wanna come in with 95 cents, that's not gonna work. It gotta be one BUSD for it to work. So you got three options, guys. You could buy it with Drip, BNB, and BUSD. So buying with BUSD or BNB will give you a 20% more bonus tickets to incentivize fresh capital injections. So subsequently, the 20% bonus tickets disincentivize claiming and selling drip as a player would lose 20% and be net neutral, probably losing another 10% moving drip to a new wallet. And a player must have an active drip account in order to receive any winnings or deposits. Winnings are paid only to the wallet that the winner entered with. So I wanna break down this little section here, right? For you to really understand what is happening because people, what they're going to do, they're gonna to go to their faucet account and they're going to claim some drip in order to participate in drip drop draw. So I'm gonna show you exactly what's going to happen if you do that versus buying with fresh BNB or BUSD. So guys, here is a visual just for everyone to see what's happening when you go into your faucet to claim out, to go into drip, drop, draw. So let's break down the math. Let's say you have 100 tokens, you claim it out, you're only going to get 90 because of the 10% tax. But when you go into drip, drop, draw, don't forget you're going to be getting another 10% tax, so you're going to be left with 81 drip tokens. And you're gonna keep 75% of that while 25% goes into the contract, so therefore you're going to have 60.75 drip. But if we go with $50 of fresh BUSD and acquire 100 drip tokens, we are gonna go into drip drop draw and lose 10%, which is going to be 90, but then we're gonna keep 75% of that 90, which is going to be 67.5 drip tokens. Now, so what's really happening here is anytime you go into your faucet and then you're going to claim in order to deposit into drip drop draw, you're losing 40% of your drip tokens, but you are acquiring 40 tickets. Now, if you go with fresh BUSD or BNB, 32% of your drip will be forfeited, but you are going to get 54 tickets. And we know 54 is definitely better than 40. And another thing I wanna mention is that anytime you're talking about going in with fresh BUSD, that means you are dollar cost averaging. That means you are hyper compounding your faucet to arrive at a max wallet 
a lot faster. So in my opinion, that is super bullish, the fact that you're arriving at your max wallet even faster. Remember, anytime you claim from your faucet, that means your max wallet, the time that you're taking is extending because now you are claiming out. So the benefits of going in with BUSD or BNB is a lot greater when you look at the overall picture. Okay, so Moonshot Max, what are your thoughts? What are you going to do? Well, personally, guys, I don't have a Max wallet, so therefore, you already know the choice that has to be made is the BUSD side because I'm gonna lose less drip, I'm gonna gain more tickets, and I'm gonna hyper compound my way towards a Max wallet. But maybe you already have a couple Max wallets already and you're saying to yourself, you know what? I'm just gonna go in with my drip from my faucet I'm gonna claim. But guys, even though if people are going to do that, don't worry about that because remember, 40% of the drip is going to be going to the tax vault. That means out of the 100% of drip that they have, 40% is gonna go to the tax wallet. They're only keeping 60%. So that's still bullish for the ones that already have max wallets already. So as you can see, lots of drip tokens, whether you go into the faucet side or the BUSD side, is gonna go towards the tax vault. But of course, the BUSD side is more bullish because you get more tickets. And if you get more tickets, you have more of an opportunity to win. So let's say you win the prize for that four hours, man. You win like 3,000 drip. That's massive. Let's say that day people was going crazy and buying a whole lot of drip. Let's say you win 10,000 drip for that one round. That's insane. That's life changing. The fact that you could win 5,000 drip and that's going to be right inside of your faucet. Now you're going to be compounding this building and building and building. So BUSD and BNB is my pick, but obviously this is never financial advice. You do what you want to do with your own drip or BUSD. So guys, there you have it, right? I have a big feeling about this one. The forces side tokenomics has been broken down, explained, and this is of course the big news of the DDD white paper release. And we are super ecstatic. And guys, don't forget my next video, I'm gonna break down the sacrifice side tokenomics to show you how sacrificing is even more bullish than the faucet side of things. And of course, guys, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to play the game. You know, guess that phrase. Hit that like, smash that subscribe for your boy. Because this is your boy, Moonshot Max, taking you straight to the moon. I'm gonna see you guys on the next video pretty, pretty soon. Peace out.